next Sunday, A Night with Angela, starting with Murder, She Wrote. Then, she only wanted her children to be happy. I love you all very much. But all they wanted was her money. You don't give a hoot about me, do you? I only want what I deserve. A family torn by bitterness. You always succeeded in making me feel that I'd failed you. Can a mother's love reunite them? I wanted that love, but it was never there for me. A Hallmark Hall of Fame presentation of the dramatic and heartwarming Shell Seekers on A Night with Angela next Sunday. Monday, Chris meets the woman of his dreams. But there's one problem. Are you okay? I'm just a little allergic. Northern Exposure, Monday. CBS. You've bought calendars before, but never one like the 1993 TV8 weather calendar, and here's why. This two-sided calendar has the highs and lows for each day of the year, weather records along with the sunrise sunset tables. Included with each calendar is my folklore painting, Signs of Winter. You can only buy this calendar this year by calling 1-800-879-0800. 995 plus tax, shipping, and handling for both calendar and print. Best of all, nearly two dozen animal welfare organizations will share in the proceeds. Call any weekday, 9 to 5. There's a special feeling when a mortgage comes through. Hold it. Can you believe that? At Society, we won't share a tender moment outside your new house, but we will come right to your home with a laptop computer to take your mortgage application. And we'll let you know if you qualify in only an hour. So when you grow out of your home, give us a call. Society, where to grow? Hear what Clevelanders are saying about the Pickle Family Circus. It's gorgeous to watch, and it's witty. I like it. It's absolutely great. It's hilarious. It's wonderful. And I like the, ac the acrobat that they do. I like when they're climbing on those ropes. The Pickle Family Circus has something for everyone. Come Definitely on down. Definitely come down and see it. I'm a first grade teacher, and I think my students would love it. I like the part with the mosquitoes. Great circus. Hurry, <laughs> it's at the Palace Theater for only a few more days. Charge tickets at 2416000 your stripes covering Cleveland's news for 30 years. Cultivate your sources for nearly 20 years. Report its big events for over seven years. Travel our highways and back roads for over 25 years. And develop the know-how that comes from growing up here and calling this home. Then you can say it. Your Cleveland's news. Cleveland's pride. Cleveland's own. News Center 8. Siskel and Ebert review body of evidence tonight at 11.30. From Cleveland's own 24-hour newsroom, Dave Buckle, Kelly O'Donnell, John Telich on sports, and Mark Kuntz with weather. This is Cleveland's own News Center 8. Good evening, everyone. Thank you for joining us. Here's what's happening. He's been called a giant, a legend, a pioneer, a man with a history-making career in the fight for civil rights. That man died today at the age of 84. He is retired Supreme Court Justice Thurgood Marshall. His legacy impacts not only the nation as a whole, but greater Cleveland as well. News Center 8's Christy Steves joins us in our 24-hour newsroom to explain. Christy? This was a man of might and power, a man many people say was one of the most influential lawyers in American history and one of the finest courtroom lawyers of this century. Now, mind you, that was before he was appointed to the Supreme Court in 1967. Even if he had never sat on the high court, many people feel Marshall would still be hailed as one of the country's greatest fighters in the legal battle against discrimination. As a civil rights advocate and as the government's top courtroom lawyer, Thurgood Marshall argued 32 cases before the high court and won 29 of them. His most famous victory, the landmark case Brown versus Topeka Board of Education, which desegregated the nation's schools. You want those children to have a constitutional education, which the Supreme Court said must be on a desegregated basis. Stanley Tolliver Sr., a member of the Cleveland Board of Education, remembers that day well, the day which eventually changed the course of history in Cleveland as well. He was against segregation wherever it existed, south, west, north, and uh, ironically, it led to the Reed versus Rhodes case uh, in Cleveland, where Judge Batiste found that the Cleveland Board was guilty of de jure and de facto segregation. Thurgood Marshall became the first...